Mike, a.k.a. Patters. Today, we're talking Tom McFarlane. We're not done discussing the Todd father, a.k.a. the cringe father. He's trying to sell NFTs and has no idea what they are. We have the proof. We have the evidence. Let's go. are back. I was up early today. I had to wake up about 6 o'clock in the morning. Anyway, that's the information technology life. Guys, Merry Christmas. Coming to you from Philadelphia, PA. Peter A. Deluca here, aka Pad69. And known throughout Philly, Europe, and the vast multiverse as your eclectic one. Guys, the channel is growing. The channel is popping real growth guys like real growth real comments so many of you thank you so guys we are long now dissecting Tom McFarland along the way we've also dissected Jim Lee and Rob Liefeld Rob Liefeld also guilty of NFTs I just want to show you guys a bit of a clip and then we're going to, at the end of this video I'm going to have the entire clip from Tom McFarland they did like it's called like a community something something where Todd just like rambles on. Uh, his rambling is uh, like I don't know how many different times he can tell the uh, creation of the sports figure story. It is it's just weird and oddly pathetic right now. And I get it they're making new sports figures. They also they all look like garbage. But with all of that said. Let's hit this clip. It was an hour long stream. It was tough to get through. Here's Todd talking. If you buy this figure, then you get, you're gonna get a free, a free digital art. So reach in here and you pull this digital card out. There's instructions on the back. Uh, NFTs are basically flat, like a two, 2D piece. The ones we do are literally 3D. All right, so he clearly has no idea what he's selling. Clearly, he's going through talking points provided to him from the real owners of McFarlane Toys. I get it. He's 49, 51% shareholder. I get it. But Tom McFarlane is a mouthpiece for his own company at this point. A company of which uh, it's a shadow of what it used to be. Nothing cool, nothing fantastic. McFarlane Toys used to fire the imagination unlike anything you've ever seen on earth. But anyway, NFTs, he says NFTs are usually flat. No, Todd, and, uh, anyone anyone that's uh, read a headline in the last two effing years, and this shows you how out of touch he really is, he disconnected also. Uh, I feel like I put more effort into my background and my set than he does. Where is this like a homeless shelter? Where is he broadcasting from? But with all of that headset, NFTs, restaurant, reservations, parts of a movie, parts of a script, uh, NFTs are in the blockchain. You can actually uh, curate talent to make storylines. A lot of people have done this. Also with NFTs, people have done full 3D illustrations through um, interconnected illustrations. Uh, again, parts of a story. NFTs are infinite. They're they're endless. Now, I'm not peddling NFTs. I'm not saying that they're great or whatever. But at the same time, uh, pretending like you're uh, uh, offering a 3D rotation of a Z, uh, Z brush sculpture as an NFT, you know, Z brush is, is probably what they use at McFarlane Toys to sculpt the statues and action figures. It's just weird. It's odd. Uh, I like you're shining a turd again. You're, you're pissing on my leg and telling me it's raining. It's just like, and with yesterday's video, it really is upsetting to me to how like 
Tom McFarlane was like shooting through the moon. He was so inspirational. He was against the grain. And right now, his his only positioning is well, you know, we're we're not publicly traded. He says it in the stream. Link of that down below. But he's like, we're not a publicly traded company. We can make less per figure and offer more value. Uh, that's given, but that doesn't mean uh, you don't run off the properties of maximizing profit. I I don't buy that at all. Uh, there was a reason why someone came in as McFarland's partner. Now and and it's mostly because they're they're going to him as a resource, as a spokesperson, and as a reach. And that's Todd McFarlane's value at that point of the company sale. Uh, we need a, you know some of my AKA powers. We gotta dig around. We gotta find a little bit more about this sale and what power Todd McFarlane actually has in McFarlane Toys. I'm very curious. And guys, yes, he is creatively bankrupt. Yes, he's not imaginative. Yes, he doesn't put the right foot forward when it comes to discovering new talent. Every single issue that or new series that he puts out is just like a Spawn this and a Spawn. You know, Spawn Prime. I'm pretty sure Spawn's going to cross over with Prime soon. Like, we even care about it. But guys, Subscribe, support, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Am I just, uh, am I being nitpicky or is he really out of touch? Guys, get yourself some privates. I want to, I want, since we're on a subject of, of NFT digital art, I'm going to do an exclusive for you today. For everybody who's here today, we're going to do an exclusive. Um, I'm going to do an unboxing, right? We got a product coming out here. I want to show you and I want to talk to you about how some of it works. So this is the Batman digital art. We call it a fidgetal, right? Fidgetal Batman, it's cool, right? Look at this. It's based on the artwork by some dude named Todd. Don't know if you've heard of him. Uh, so this thing is based on the comic book detective. No, it was Batman, I think, four, issue 423, Batman 423. Um, and so what ends up happening with this one, you'll be able to get it like it's, uh, like Amazon and uh, McFarland's Toy Store and some other one, Entertainment Earth. If you buy this figure, then you get... You're going to get a free, a free digital art. So I'm going to show you how this works because we're going to open this. We're going to open up this bad boy up here. So it's a big box. I'm going to open it up here, show you what you get in the box. Um, this again, like I said, it's based on the original artwork that I have done. I'll show you the back of the box. Here's the artwork. That's, that was the original that I did. All right. So it was the black costume one. We're doing a couple of variations, but the one I'm going to show you has got this, the one you're looking at right now is black, cape, blue inside. We're going to be doing the blue with the black inside, right? So uh, so this is going to be a, a statue. It's not going to have a bunch of moving parts in it because uh, that toy wasn't designed to be like that. And I'm going to open up the clam here. To the clam so you can see it way better. Done. Done. All right. All right, so here's the toy. Let me see if I can get up close here to get the face because the face is super cool. Right, making that. Yeah, right there. Got the big cape, right? This is the blue one with the black. It's pretty beefy, pretty heavy. Probably weighs a couple pounds, right? There's a profile of the big cape. So it's a nice big plastic statue one without it costing you an arm and a leg. Sometimes statues and resins cost uh, a lot of money. Um, in the box, too, there's going to be a base. So I'm going to see if I can tear out this base. All right. You get a card inside, right? There you go with the front and the back. There's going to be a version that doesn't come with the digital that some of the cards are autographed by me. If you flip it over, I put an autograph in this area here. It's all white. And I did a big autograph on there. I think I did most of them in blue. Um, but the one we're showing you today is the one where you get basically the physical and the digital, hence digital. So you get a physical and a digital. Uh, so you get the card, you get the big, the big fat base, right? Here it is, big base, looking cool. You take your big physical. There's, there's a steel pin underneath it, right here, and you shove it on the base, blammo, and now you've got the big boy sitting. And if you want, you can spin them, right? Cool, he spins. So you can put them in any position you want on there. Um, along with that, there's another card there. Remember, the digital card. And if you reach in here and you pull this digital card out, there's instructions on the back. 
And on the back, it tells you how to open up a wallet so you can get this free digital. So you can put in your viewer app. You have to download the viewer app. And then you literally get a physical, like most uh, NFTs are basically flat, like a two, 2D piece. The ones we do are literally 3D. So when you put it in your viewer app, you literally can spin it in your viewer app, just like you can a physical toy. So it's not just a photo. It's actually a 3D model uh, that you can walk around and move around whatever else. So if you can see here, there's a little thing here that you scratch off just like anything else. And when you scratch it off, I'm going to scratch it off there, not all the way, but when you scratch it off, there's going to be a number and you scratch off the number. And if you go to your wallet, then you punch that in, you're going to get a free, free 3d, uh, uh, version of the toy you just bought. So you're going to have it both 2d and 3d. So cool. But the 2d, which is your screen, cause it's a flat surface. We'll give the illusion of 3D, just like watching a movie or cartoon or anything else, right? So for those people who say, well, I like digital better than physical. I like physical better than digital. You don't have to pick and choose. You're going to get one of each. Oh, it's a one-time redemption. It's cool. So you get the card, you get the figure, and you get that. So anyways, for those of you that want to dip your toe into it to see what it's all about, it's coming out. Again, you can see down there, pre-order coming in there. Our very first digital product coming, and we're going to be doing a lot more as time goes by just so that we can accommodate a bunch of people.